You boys are right or what? We're the only two left in our chalk. No radio, no drones. Between the two of us, we got two rifles and eight mags. Locals got water here. And some supplies. Can you believe this place, man? God damn. My mind's blown. Yep. I'm there for any more or less, but they're still keeping us on a short leash. You boys know what took out our birds? No clue. But there are definitely hostiles out there. Tiny with some troops out there who are calling themselves wolves. You know who we're dealing with? For now you're dealing with me. You the one in charge here? Who's asking? My call sign's Nomad. I'm the officer in charge of this operation. By operation, I assume you mean the massively wild screw up. Hey, old man. You playing nice? Let's try to find out why a bunch of grunts are falling from the sky into our laps, honey. Well, someone sank a naval cargo ship off the coast. Then the entire archipelago of Aurora went dark. Now, we were sent here to figure out what happened. Next thing we know, the choppers were taken down. Almost half of my soldiers are dead. Best we can tell, some kind of military takeover. Sentinel, military contractors, they put this place under martial law, using the old boot in the neck technique to enforce it. Skeltech is still making all the high tech stuff they always make. Except maybe now they're making more weapons. Not exactly the libertarian utopia J. Skell advertised. Where can I find J. Skell? Ah, uh, the head of Skeltech himself. Mm. We haven't seen him, but his drones are keeping an eye on his islands. So you think he's still a part of this? I'm just not sure why. All right. Well, I'll put figuring it out on my to-do list. For now, can I see our wounded? Yeah. One of your guys needs to rest, but he won't shut up. Calm him down, yeah? And then come find me. I'll give you the guided tour. Laying on the rocks, listening to the waves and the cries of gulls. It's all I want. Oh, yeah? Well, you did actually make that. You know, I, was, uh, I was trading gear with the outcasts. You heard right. from Sam? Hello. No need to fear. Couldn't help but over here. There's some kind of problem. We're not sure. Our friend Samuel's missing. You a homesteader? Yeah, used to be. Before he decided he'd rather live by himself. No great loss, if you ask me. He likes catching his own food. Says it keeps him closer to nature or something like that. And then he gives the furs and leftover meat to the camp. Never takes anything in return. I don't get it. Sounds like he knows how to take care of himself. Last week, he was down here hollering about running into a bunch of sentinels on his land. They said they carried away a couple of deer he caught, smashed up his traps, and then... This week, nothing. Samuel's always had a temper, but in this place, these days, you say the wrong thing to the wrong person... Well... You know. Yeah, I know. Say, where are his usual stomping grounds? He's typically around to the southeast of Garden Mangrove, northeastern part of Gairon. I'll see if I can find him. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks.
Lucky you found this place. Rowan Brown knew about this place for a while. We figured sacred ground always makes good sanctuary. That's pretty damp, though. It's still a work in progress, all right? We've managed to stay under the radar so far. With all of you, our people, a bunch of Skeltech employees. I don't think you've got room to complain. Hey, I'm not complaining. This place is great. It'd be a pretty island without all the military contractors and killer drones. Used to be. I get some leave and just walk. I'd spend whole weeks just walking around with a pack on my shoulder. Yeah, well, I'm probably getting my share of sightseeing. These islands have changed hands so much it's like a time capsule. I keep telling myself one day I'll get back out there, just see it all again before I'm too old to make the trip. Then again, who knows how far I get now. left who made it hey you just relax pal i'm doing what i can you damn superhero Ugh. here here's another superpower Can't find Midas. But Weaver. Hey, you just relax, pal. We'll take care of it, all right? And the wasp. Yeah. And with the comms blackout, I can't reach the ship. But I'll talk to Mad Shells, the big guy. You might have a boat I can use. Don't you worry. I'll come back with some help. Go.
was uh, I was trading gear with the app. They seemed all right. How's your pal? Holding up. Thanks for looking after him. You heard anything about a Lieutenant Colonel Walker? That the guy that works with the troops call themselves the Wolves? He used to be Skeltech's military advisor. Heard he was an operator. You know him? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, we met a couple times. You got a mean look in your eye. You got big plans? You know how I can get off this island? Right. And leave us regular folk to fend for ourselves, huh? Auckland is 2,000 kilometers away. It's an awful long way to run with your tail between your legs. I'm not running, Mads. The USS Wasp is a couple dozen clicks off the coast. If I can get there, I can come back here with some help. The Wasp, huh? Not sure I'm fond of the idea of a bunch of squids running around our island. <clears throat> well, there are a couple of jarheads on board, too. Well, if that's the case... Look, I'll be straight with you. We know that we're no match for former spec ops. So some of our friends, homesteaders and Skell employees both, are leaving the island on a couple of boats. Can you get them protection on the Wasp? Absolutely. All right. I'll tell you where the boats are. No, that's a bigger decision than any one person. Goddamn factories, eyesores on the landscape, and who knows what they're making in them. Don't trust them. In the old days, you could hear and smell factories. These clean machines make me without so much as a buzz and a whir, I tell you. Something wicked is coming this way. You ready for your personal tour of Erewhon? Just don't forget to swing by the gift shop. Never. <laughs> bang, bang! <laughs> so now the naval station closed down years ago. Who are these kids? The birds and the bees, Nomad. We've got three generations living on this island. If I can be blunt, I don't like you soldiers being here. It puts these kids at risk. But my old man bleeds red, white, and blue, so we'll never turn our backs on you. I can sort you out if you need any gear or supplies. 
You and your troops can bivouac over there. If you really get to feel froggy, you can talk to Sergeant Rowan Brown. He used to be Kiwi SAS. He likes scouting around the island for those elite troops. They call themselves wolves. Rowan likes picking fights with them. And over in our war room, we're working on our own logistics. You can usually find Mads in there. There's a Skeltic engineer, Jericho, hanging around. She's worried about something big on another island. You might need to bring some friends with you on that picnic. So like I said, we will never turn our backs on you, but you better not do anything to put this community in danger. Oh, I think you've got a hunch it's already in danger. But don't worry. I'll do my best to keep all of you safe. Let's hope it's enough. What's the best way to customize my weapons? Well, let's see. You're probably going to want a new scope, a couple of rail attachments, some bigger magazines, maybe even a new suppressor. Huh. You know your stuff. When we came out here, we were planning to survive. Do you have anything you could sell me? I don't have much, but you can take a look. I'll sell you what I can. If you need something I don't have, you can rummage through any military crates you stumble across. The more Sentinel Corp guns guarding them, the more likely you'll be interested in what they're keeping inside. I like the way you think. <laughs> 